Uh, let me ask you this. What are some quick fixes that all of us can do to our teeth, particularly? Because your smile supposedly keeps you young looking. Like, if you can take care of your hair and your smile and your skin, you look younger. Because those are the, that's, that's the sign of, of health. So what are some quick, inexpensive fixes we can all think about? Now, there's a great product available. Um, you can get it online. It's, it's called Super Smile. It's a, a whitening system developed by uh, the father of cosmetic dentistry, Dr. Erwin Smigel. It's a, um, it's a toothpaste, a whitening toothpaste with an accelerator. It's a whole system that he's devised that we use it in our practice. Mm -hmm. um, it's inexpensive. Uh, certain parts of the, the system are $30, $40. Oh, that's not bad. Um, How lo do you have to do that in the dentist's office th too? No, it's, it's an at-home whitening. Uh, it, it basically replaces your toothpaste and it has a, oh, a, really? a specific... You know, there's but so you many suggest whitening. that whitening our teeth is something that makes us look younger. because oh, it's definitely. that uh, Definitely. Okay. Especially so the, with something like uh, uh, just a product you can buy in the store. Yeah. It's easy to do. And you know, everybody sees the whitening toothpaste that are, every brand has a whitening toothpaste, but there are some that are separated from the others that actually work. And what is one that you like again? It's Super Smile. Super Smile. Super Smile. Where can I get Super Smile? Uh, you know, I know they have a website. We buy it off the website, supersmile.com. Supersmile.com. I can go there and spend. I think they sell it at Dwayne Reed, Bath and Body Less than a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. And become very competitive by having a Super Smile. Does it damage the teeth at all? No, it doesn't. They, um, Dr. Michael, he developed a, uh, um, a, a patented ingredient called Calprox, which dissolves the, this, this layer on the surface of your tooth that traps all this stain. Oh, really? And, and literally, once you brush your teeth, they're almost whitened instantly. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Super smile. Hey, you know, doctors know this stuff. They do. They have, like, the inside scoop. Okay, one other thing that I can do to, to make myself competitive, plastic surgery-wise, about the mouth. Well, you know, whitening's the easiest thing. You know, once you start getting into uh, other types of fixes, bonding, orthodontics, veneer work, um, people that go through orthodontics typically, that wouldn't be a good solution for somebody that wants to be marketable right away. But Invisalign's an option where you can in move the teeth. Invisible braces. Invisible braces. Uh, and porcelain veneers, that's our big item in, our, in my practice is porcelain veneers. Within a matter of a week, we're completely changing somebody's smile shape. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you can really clean up a mess. Oh, yeah, we can. We yeah. can, we can I mean, it's okay that. to be a hot mess, but not with your teeth. Right, right, right. It works in Britain, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm going to get some emails about that, I know. Where is Reynalda, by the way? Reynalda in London always emails me whenever I pick on the Brits. I, I haven't heard from her. Maybe I haven't been doing it. Um, Dr. Connolly, thank you so very much. This is fascinating to me. During a recession, people are more worried about what they look like because they know that that can give them that competitive edge when looking for a job. And certainly, if you have a super smile, it'll make you more memorable, I would imagine, too. Definitely. Yeah. So your business is just fine. I, before I let you go, though, I have to ask you, and maybe you have, and maybe you don't have an opinion, uh, have you learned much about the president's health care plan? Do you have any thoughts about that since you, you know, I mean, people sure. come in, they have to have health care. Well, the, the, the draft, the American Dental Association stance on the, the, the bill is, is they haven't really supported it or, or, or not supported it yet. They're waiting for more data to come through. Um, some of the plans are very They're wait The whole dental association is waiting about whether or not well, they'll support it, the president? There's a, not the president. There's but the plan. The plan. Um, there's aspects of the plan that are vague. Um, there are aspects of the plan that um, don't really address the need for adults. Um, it, there is a lot of focus on children. Um, but there are different drafts and there are different parts of the hmm. plan that the committees are passing on to different committees. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think as the drafts get further along, you'll see the American Dental Now, you know they're trying to rush this through. Yeah. I, you know, I, I can't, I don't know all the specifics of the plan, but the American Dental Association is very good at updating its members on where we stand really? as a group. Okay. And, okay. You know, I got an email from them yesterday. I got one from them this morning. And really? We're, oh, yeah. They're really oh, good about communicating with their members. And um, Well, our biggest concern is... is the, the reimbursement levels and then forcing dentists to participate. Um, let me give you an example. Please. Um, in Medicaid, if a young kid comes in for a procedure that in my office, a filling that we say, let's just, for example, say $100, mm -hmm. Medicaid will reimburse us $33. Uh -huh. I know the levels are low. They're really low. And, and unless your business is completely built around a, a, a a, f a procedure of that fee structure, meaning like a volume type business, um, like a McDonald's type dental practice, as opposed to a, a, 
a, a full service quality dental practice, our overheads are greater than 60%. Wow. So you get 30%. And then for them to mandate us to participate at those reimbursement levels. It's frightening. It is scary. You'll go broke trying to provide health care. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't it work. It wouldn't work. So. That's it. Wow. Did you hear that, everybody? We got a real life example of one of the issues that someone has. And he didn't go partisan on it. He went reality based on that. Dr. Connolly, thank you for You're breaking welcome. that down. Thank That's very interesting. Yeah, and friend. they're updating you through the Dental Association on a daily basis because this is so important. It is. Probably twice a day they do an email blast to all That's the members. That's amazing. And um, they're very good about staying front and center with what the, the key points are because it's really not their priority. It's really kind of tucked in. Is Matt still around? Is Matt here? Can we take the doctor on a close-up? Is that possible to do? Matthew! I love yelling at these guys. Can you take the doctor on a close-up? Thank you. Oh, he is. Okay. I just want to show the doctor's smile. He's, you know, he's a dental plastic surgeon. He's a good-looking guy. <laughs> and you can just look right there. Okay. And, uh, you know, maybe say a little something to the people about how a winning smile can help you be competitive. Oh, definitely. I think that with the products available today uh, to whiten your smile and the, 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 the amount of dentists that are in tune to cosmetic dentistry, if you're looking for something to improve your self-esteem, to improve your self-image. Um, dentists nowadays are really on the cutting edge of cosmetics and um, especially here in New York we've got a great bunch of cosmetic yeah. dentists myself. Now, I have to admit I did that because I, I mean I know the ladies are emailing me they think you're good looking. Oh, so, <laughs> so that was my sneaky way of getting them on a close-up. Hey uh, Deb in Maine writes if this product Super Smile removes a layer on your teeth Will it weaken or damage your teeth over time? Do we have to be careful with it? No, you don't. The, let, me, let me elaborate. The, there's something called a protein pellicle. Um, if, if anyone can recall, when, once you get your teeth cleaned at the dentist professionally, mm -hmm. and they use the abrasive powder with the, the, the spinning profi cup, and uh -huh. when, when you leave, everything feels so smooth and, and clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what they've done is they've removed the protein pellicle from your tooth. Okay. And then the saliva and the food you eat replaces that protein pellicle within an hour or two after so you leave the So it protects your teeth when you use it. Super smile. So, no, no, the protein pellicle. Okay. So the only way to remove that protein pellicle with trap stain is with abrasives, but mm. you can't use abrasives on your teeth. So this super smile dissolves that protein pellicle. Okay. So it's like getting a professional tooth cleaning every time you use it. And so it won't damage. And what's even great is they have it in a little tube. And they have it in a little It has no fluoride, so you can just squirt it in your mouth. Wow, travel super smile. I call it a quickie, and it dissolves that pellicle, and your teeth feel nice and smooth right away. Uh, Deb, you just learned what a, a tooth quickie is from uh, the good doctor here. Thank you for talking healthcare with us, too. Your perspective was very refreshing. My pleasure. I appreciate that.